very, very, very here. Oh, Barry, how are you? Well, been having, been having a kind of a hard time. Well, what's going on? Well, don't know if you heard, but, but over at the house, the bear house, we've had a break in. You really? Someone broke in? Yeah. It was some little girl, I think, broke in and ate some of our porridge and, and, and broke one of my chairs and, and laid in our bed, just kind of kind of kind of made a real mess of things. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it is. And just now that she's done that, I just don't feel real safe there all the time. It's it's kind of a hard time. Well, that's not unlike kind of what's going on around here. Some little girl break in though. I kind of feel like a virus broke in. Uh, and it's causing all kinds of disturbances, not broken chairs or porridge eaten up, but uh, some jobs are being kind of threatened some and, and uh, not sure, and schools are being let out for a little while and we're not sure how long and uh, that sounds pretty hard time too, it is, but we've been trying to celebrate around here that we have good news even in hard times. Well, that's what we're trying to do. And one of the ways we do that is to give each other bear hugs. Does that help? Yeah, it kind of reminds us that we're there for each other. And we love each other. And love's big and important. But we believe that too, that Jesus loves us and we're to love each other. Well, that sounds really special. You all give each other bear hugs? Well, we're supposed to keep some social distancing right now, so that's a little bit hard. Well, as soon as you can, do, because that really helps. Yeah, well, thanks. I better go check on my family and see how we're doing in our hard time. Remember, good news, love, hug each other when you can. Thank you, Beery. We appreciate that very much. Hi. Well, good to be with you again today. Um, again, we're here not to put on a show, um, but just have some time sharing together. And, uh, and we are trying to remember that it's hard times. We're not trying to ignore that, but we're trying to make sure that we really focus in on that there's good news. Not ignoring the hard things that are invading our lives right now, but there's good news. There's his love. Okay, so we've been doing some motions with that, so let's do our morning review. My tweet, or afternoon or evening, whenever you have to be tuning in. Is morning right here right now anyway uh, so <clears throat> this is the first time with us just kind of monkey see monkey do these are things to help us remember good news all right here we go we have good news we make that because it reminds us of the cross the cross and that shows us God and his love, Jesus and his love. Good news of great joy. Anyway, let's try that much again. We have good news, even in hard times. That's what we're celebrating. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to stand on as a foundation. Um, okay, but we're also celebrating as a part of that good news that God made you, oh, sorry, with me. <laughs> That's what we have to do this so I remember. Me, you, us all special. Special with a thinker, thinker, feeler, because we feel so much down in our stomachs, our guts sometimes, and then our chooser, the heart of the issue, our chooser. But we also have an imagine. Nation. That's what we celebrated just in our last segment. Imagination. It's not imagination that Jesus loves who? Me, you, us all, no matter what. Again, if you've not done that with us before, we'll do it again in segments to come, but please hear that. That Jesus loves me, you, us all, no, no matter what, no matter viruses, no matter jobs, no matter schools, he loves us no matter what. Therefore, therefore, in, by, 
through his love. We, little jump, can love me, you, us all, no matter what. It's kind of the up and down part of the cross reminds us we have his love. The cross being reminds us we can share that love with one another. Uh, all right. Oh, yesterday, again, we were doing the uh, imagination and talking about imagination. That's one of the things that God gave us that makes us special. And we did some imagination in action. And uh, we acted out. Uh, remember what we acted out? Yeah, that's right. Turtle, uh, the little pig. That was fun. Uh, the, the, the caterpillar. Yeah. And, and the frog. Yeah, yeah, the frog. That was great. But whoa. Uh, Let's do, let's do one today. Oh, one that uh, we just did with Beery, and we had another bear puppet the other day. So why don't we, let's do an imagination and action, let's be bears. Okay, so pick out what kind of bear you're going to be. You may be a papa bear. You may be a bear cub. Uh, you may be a mama bear that's kind of fixing everything around. Uh, so you just be uh, some sort of bear for just a moment. Okay, good. Uh, got to put, go ahead, get in mind. Let's use our imaginations. God's given you one. It's a wonderful part of us. So imagine what kind of bear you're going to be. One, two, three. Let's be the bear. I got started with the papa. Now I'll be a little bear, bear cup. I kind of like that too. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. Bears, bears give bear hugs. Let, let's let's give ourselves a bear hug, can we? Oh, that was that was good, wasn't it? Let's give ourselves another bear hug. Whoa. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's social distancing stuff. Six feet, that's the ideal, you know? Uh, of course, in the household, uh, the family, we can't always keep that six feet, of course. Uh, this is kind of my adopted family, <laughs> and my puppets and props. Uh, and, and, and so you notice they're pretty close, <laughs> close than six. But, okay. Beery reminded us that hugs are a good reminder of love. And um, and so, how can we... This idea, I love this when God does this, because this idea came into my mind earlier today, and I thought we would do this thing, not of bear hugs, uh, but, but giving each other hugs. Uh, and then I saw that my friend Kylie... Hi, Kylie. Uh, um, I don't know if you ever watch this, Kylie, but I'll invite you to. I want you to see this because I saw on the front page of last Wednesday's paper, she was giving an air hug to a student that's part of the school where she's a school counselor. And it's exactly what I felt God led, leading me to do. For us to make this, let's be a, a give, a social distancing air hug, not a bear air hug to one another. And so just to kind of see how that's going to happen, uh, I asked April... Our daughter, come on up here, uh, kind of see how we're going to do this. And uh, I think that's yeah, it's about six feet. Wave to our friends, April. Yeah. <laughs> Glad she's here. Anyway, all right. Um, and we've been doing this quarantine stuff. We, we're actually day one to pass the quarantining, but we're still going to adhere for the next 30 days uh, to good social distancing and stuff as we can. But anyway, so. Uh, Okay, let's see if we can give ourselves a hug. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> One more time. I'll hold that for just a moment. Now, please know, April, the hug that you're feeling, you're giving yourself is from me. And can I can I imagine the and know that the hug I'm feeling is from you? You can. Okay. One more time. A good air hug. Uh, appreciate April being here, and April was good to get a hug from her. Uh, my princess had been for a number of days. Won't say how many years. <laughs> anyway, let's try that, shall we? Let's do a lot of that today. Uh, right on the front page of the paper, so I know other people are probably already doing it. I'm kind of slow on the uptake. Um, and uh, 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 let's see. If you want to give the. Okay, okay. All right. <coughs> It's a good idea. My daughter, my wife, help me keep me straight here. But <clears throat> what? Uh, but right now, let's start with those in our room, shall we? 
let's give an air hug to each other, get a little distance from each other, not stand right next to each other, do this. Although if you're in the same household, hugs are okay within that household. But let's right now, let's practice social distancing, okay? So get apart from each other, okay? And, and look at your brother or sister. I know it's hard to give a hug in any way. Show <laughs> your brother or sister or your mom or dad uh, <clears throat> that's right there with you. And, and let's do this. Give yourself a hug. Okay, let them give themselves a hug and look at each other and know that the hug that you're feeling is from them. Can you do that? It's from those right around you. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Oh, that's good, I guess. Okay, look at somebody else and maybe do the same thing. Air hug. Give yourself a hug. And that hug is from them, and the hug they're feeling is from you. Ah, oh, hugs are good. It does remind us how much we're loved. Uh, okay, okay. So we can do this not just in the same room, but we can do this uh, social distancing on FaceTime or Zoom, whatever they call that, or as we're right here right now. So I'm looking right at this camera, and I'm looking right at you. I'm looking at Allison over in Albania. I'm looking at my mother, my mother. <laughs> it's our time hearing me sometimes. Um, this is for you, Mom. Uh, yep, and uh, Alyssa, Holly, um, <laughs> this is for you out there too. And the kids are out there. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I want you to give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. Now may I give myself a hug? Now let's say the hug you're feeling is from me. Okay, that feeling, okay, can I say this hug is from you? Oh, thank you so much, thanks so much, thanks so much. Oh, you can do that. Well, we'll talk a little bit more who you can do it. You begin to think about who you can do that with. Uh, and if you don't want to send us a note to let us know that you gave us an air hug, uh, we'd really appreciate that. Let us know that you received our air hug, okay? Not a bear hug, but an air hug. <laughs> okay, but, but what does Jesus think about all this? Uh, this hug stuff and this sort of thing. <clears throat> well, what I'd like to do is do a prop character. Um, now, don't worry about trying to come up with this prop character's name uh, out of the Bible because it's going to be about Jesus and a couple of stories that happened to Jesus out of the Bible. Mark, Gospel of Mark, y'all look it up sometime, moms, dads, grandmas, uh, kids. In Mark 9 and Mark 10, there are two stories about this. Uh, but I'm going over here, um, and the props I'm going to use are right over here. And so I uh, uh, just want to do a quick little story with you um, from when Jesus lived, as I kind of imagine it to be these stories, okay? Let's see. My name is Josiah, uh, Josiah, named after the guy in the Bible, and I'm a carpenter's son, a uh, carpenter's son in a town called Capernaum, and um, how to start, there was life before he showed up, I'll tell you who in just a minute, there was life before he showed up, I, I was loved by my dad and my mom, and able to go out and help my dad in the carpenter's shop, and, and I loved that, and, and but Everywhere else, in the synagogue even, out in the marketplace, I was just a kid, and kids are kind of looked down on. I don't know if you know that, at least where I was born and raised, they were looked down on. They would have seen and not heard. <laughs> um, kind of second class. So we would have felt about ourselves. Um, but then he came along. He changed everything in our little town. In fact, I think he's about to change everything in our world. We hit it right off, because <laughs> he's a carpenter's son, too. Uh, not from Capernaum, that's where my dad's a carpenter, but his dad's a carpenter over in Nazareth. And, uh, and so we hit it right off, and we talked carpentry stuff. And, and uh, you know, when I was around him, um, you know, when I was around him, I, I didn't feel second class. I felt important. Uh, he, we worked on some projects together. Uh, he and I worked on the, and kind of working on this puzzle together. We love that, and I'm starting to 
figure out he's a pretty special person. Let me tell you a couple things, just real quickly, and I gotta get back to help Dad finish this project. Um, one of the times is that I happened upon he and some of his friends and followers, and I could tell his followers were having an argument. I know arguments because I have some brothers. We have argued all the time, so I know what an argument looks like. They were right in the middle of one. And then uh, Jesus, that's the son of the carpenter's friend, he invited me right up to him, right up to him in. Then he hushed his followers, and he reached down and gave me a hug. A rabbi. Oh, yeah, he was a son of a carpenter, but he was also a rabbi. And, and, and getting to be loved and, and followed by a lot of people, he put me right in the middle of the group and gave me a hug. And he says, a lesson as you learn to embrace this child, you're going to learn to embrace me. And I felt so good. Oh. And then my parents and some other parents got together and they wanted to take their youngest child, my little baby brother, toddling around these days, uh, wanted to take be blessed by this special rabbi. And so they arranged all that and they figured it out. And so I was just kind of tagging along and, and we got there. His disciples... <laughs> Most honorary disciples, they try to get us, keep us, and my parents from getting through to him. And then Jesus finally knows what's happening, and then he kind of kind of got down on his followers some. Let them through, he said. The kingdom of heaven is just like, if you have faith like this, you don't have faith to get into the kingdom. And I remember him taking my little brother and giving him a hug and putting his hands on him and blessing him. So I don't know the whole puzzle of who he is yet. I think he's someone very special. I do know this. He values children and hugs. And hugs. Ah, pretty special. All right. I bring it back. Help this kid. Yeah. Jesus did value children. You. Children of all ages. Me. I'm just a kid with gray hair. <laughs> he values us. He loves us. Um, and he reached out and showed that with hugs. And I think he wants to extend his love to us now through hugs. Um, and so um, let's make this, this day, and let's say all 30 days of April, because last I know the president still says, let's stay this social distancing stuff for at least that long. Let's make each of these days give a social distancing air hug day. Can we do that? So. Get on, uh, get, get, when you FaceTime later with Nana and Papa, when you, um, uh, when you uh, uh, maybe even talking on the phone, you can say, you can tell your friend, give yourself a hug. That hug's really for me. An air hug, a give hug. And so um, let's do a lot of that, okay? Um, and, and so a lot of places. So tell me how that works out. But let it be a reminder to you that... Um, that that's a reminder of his love for us. His, and sometimes, earlier today, I just kind of sat for a moment and just, no one else was around. I just sat like this for a little bit, knowing Jesus was right there, not by his physical body, but by his breath, by his spirit. And I imagine him just giving me a hug. I guess okay, too. What is today? Give a social distancing air hug day. Let me know about what that is. And remember, it's a reminder of his love for us. Let's pray. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the stories out of the story. Thank you for giving us a peek into two of the stories out of that story today that shows us how much you value us as kids and how you value and how important touch is in showing that. So, Lord, may we, Lord, for distance, we can't reach out and actually touch, but we can with air hug touches. <laughs> may that be today. Show us ways to do that. Maybe just pass around. Maybe the mailman, knock on the window, give it to the mailman when he comes by. Um, someone else, a friend from school. There you go, friend. Whoever you lead us to. Uh, certainly to my favorite grandson in the world and to my favorite granddaughter. I give my air hugs today. Uh, well, time to move on uh, to give us some air hugs to folks. Thank you for giving us a hug through the cross and through your love. Thank you. And pray this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.